Hey lovies! Hi everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your Filipino Petit and so I miss you all. I'm supposed to go to the town but suddenly it rained so hard and yeah, I just decided why not go tomorrow and just film new vlogs because after all, I miss my YouTube family. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a shout out today but i have a new vlog and i have a new topic that i want to discuss long time ago and since i am getting so many questions regarding this we will talk about some of the possible reasons why your filipina ghosted you and you're probably wondering why the filipina that i met on the dating site online suddenly disappear without a trace so I hope everyone is ready because if you do love is let's begin with the number one and that is maybe you are kind of a needy person so we talk a lot of things in my previous vlog including a filipina that is clingy sometimes i i can be clingy too and i can be needy too but not all the time okay so i will tell you an experience and there was a guy that I was talking before and he was kind of too needy. If I didn't answer his call, he would accuse me of doing something like maybe I am chatting to someone, I am talking to other guy. And if I didn't reply right away, he would be so, so angry and demanding. So I don't like that. And this could be a reason for your Filipina to disappear. Trust me, lovies. It's really good to be needy sometimes just to show to your Filipina and girlfriend that you really want to be with her. You are adoring her and you always want to see her through video call to talk to her. But imagine you are talking every day for 10 hours, 7 hours. We understand sometimes that we want to show to our loved ones, especially online. We cannot hold the person. We cannot be with them and hug them, but not 24-7. So, I are really admiring those Filipinas that can talk to their online boyfriend for 7 hours through video call, 5 hours. Because I think for me, it doesn't work and it will not work. Maybe an hour or two hours will be like the maximum talking on video call every day. But not like 10 hours of talking. It will bore me to death. So, just to be honest... It could be a reason for some Filipina to be scared and then change their mind that, oh no, it's way too much and I will not handle any of this needy man that I met on the dating site. Now, let's move on to our number two, which is being no time and always busy. So again, as a person who's in the dating site for almost seven years, I experienced a lot. Even though I started talking to a guy from the site and we never built a relationship online. In fact, love is, if ever I want someone from the site, I will be doing everything like sending him likes, sending, sending him um, to my favorite winks or anything that i can do or message him even if i know that he will not read it and he's not interested in me i will do all the effort and i will show all the effort if i really like the guy from the sites i had an experience that i liked the guy and he said he liked me too he we are interested to each other but the problem with that guy is that he is always busy he doesn't have time even to talk in video call and to be honest with you the things that always happen every day let's say we talk about a month every day would be like only good morning good evening how are you what did you eat are you working if i try to call him that guy would always say like sorry but i cannot answer your call i am with my grandson's football i am with my grandson's party or i am taking care of my grandson so in the end it annoys me and at the same time i feel like i think i cannot be with this person i cannot wait for this person because after all i am doing a lot of effort to show him that i am really interested in him and wants to get to know him so i'm not really sure if he is busy or he just doesn't want to talk so i don't like that we understand that we're working you are working you are making a living but 
I think, um, for me, in my opinion, once you join the dating site and you root there that you want to meet your forever, you want to meet your soulmate, you must have time to talk if ever you find someone to talk in the dating site. So, yeah, that, that could be a reason for your Filipina to disappear without trace and she might ghost at you. Anyway, lovies, at the end of this video, we are going to answer some of your questions. How many guys I've ghosted in the site? Did I ghost someone? Why I ghost them? I'm gonna tell you all the reasons because and I wanted to be honest with you all. So I hope you keep watching and finish this video. Anyway, I have so many. Okay, number three is bragging. So, I understand that some of you lovies only wants to impress your Filipina by saying that, you know what, I have a yacht, I have a mansion, I have a sports car, I have a lot of money in my bank, anything that you want. I understand that because if you really like the person, um, it's natural for humans to make them impress. So it's no question about that. But the thing is that if you keep on bragging to your Filipina, even if for you, you are just showing her your achievements, you are just showing your asset to her. For some Filipina, they might think that you are bragging. So if I were you, especially if you are meeting a Filipina that, let's say, uh, from a poor family and then she looks like a genuine person, let's say it's me. Instead of making me impressed by showing all your achievements, you have a plane, you have a yacht, you have uh, mansions. I would think to myself that, oh no, maybe he deserves someone better. So yeah, I understand that you want to impress me or other Filipinas, but sometimes it can scare us instead of being impressed. Because we would think like, I came from a poor family i came from nothing but then someone i will be with someone that is rich okay even though for some people for some guys they are lying they are making up stories just to impress the lady and then eventually they are not the person that they introduced to that person to that filipina i mean i think it is okay if you let your filipina knows everything about you whatever asset it is so I'm getting messages like this saying that, Hey Petit, can you be my girlfriend? No worries with money. I will support you. I will give you a plane. I will give you a sports car or anything that can impress me. Um, I'm sorry guys, but I am talking to someone right now. And I also became honest with that on my previous vlog. So yeah, if I didn't reply with your messages, I'm really sorry, okay? We have number four and that is... If you are the type of guy that always talk about sex, so in Filipino, we call you maniakis or sex maniac, okay? That's what we call for those who are pervert, always talk about sex. Now, in the dating site, we understand that if we talk to someone, if we started an online relationship, sometimes it, um, it happens that you will your topic will be about sex about having an intimate moments together if ever you meet in person and i think it's natural it's common because after all you are talking online and you are building a relationship so you should be um, both comfortable to each other and uh, there's nothing wrong about it what i mean being a maniac as what we call in filipino is a guy that is always talk about sex so you know that some filipinas are still conservative even though we already have past relationship kids we had a family before i mean some of us filipinas is still not comfortable like always talking about sex or intimate moments especially with the guy that we haven't met in person so um sometimes it's really good to like do flirting and then you talk about this topic but not really like every day okay it can scare your philippine especially if you all the things that you are saying to her is beyond she might ghost you okay so be careful okay we have here the number five which is if you're the type of guy that are lack of interest so it is the same with no time and always busy but in this reason 
it happens all the time in the dating site. So this is the reason why if I want to talk to someone, I only want to talk to one person. Because if I will talk to few men or to few individual, then I my feeling will get confused. My mind will be, will get confused to, to whoever I am really interested with. So it could be the reason why some of the men on the dating side are lack of interest in getting to know that Filipina, even though the Filipina is really interested in him. So I'm going to give you again an example and I'm going to use myself as usual because I don't want to use other Filipinas, okay? So I started talking with, to a guy and I am really interested in him and so he was also to me. He's, he said he's interested in me. If I didn't ask him anything about, about his life, about things, he will not say anything, okay? He will just keep quiet. He will just doesn't want to talk and I don't like that if I want to get to know the person you should be willing also to get to know me so I keep on asking that guy everything that I want to know about him your daughter's name the grandchildren names and birthday everything his address his day-to-day um, -day activities and any anything that I can gather because I am really interested with that guy it seems like that person never really get interested in me so his lack of interest like even asking about my daughter about how was my day how is my day going how is my family and if i try to tell that guy that okay ask me anything so you will know more about me he will say like no i'm not interested so why is that you are saying that you want to talk to me you want me to be your girlfriend but at the same time you are telling me that you're not interested in getting to know me getting to know everything around me it's one of the reason why i think i will disappear and doesn't want to talk to you okay so be careful lovies if you are talking to a filipina and she is doing a lot of effort for you showing you a lot of sweet things and giving you the reasons to, just to make you happy and just to make you feel that you are feel love and you are important to her then at least try to give back okay because i think that's what relationship avoid doing things that might scare us so um being rude to someone yelling to someone cursing someone even this is smallest details like showing me that you can smoke three packets of cigarette a day or drinking three to five bottles of liquor every day oh my god it really scares me guys and i'm not sure i'm i, I think i'm just being too judgmental but to be honest with you it's one of the things that it scares me i don't know why and i have here the last one which is maybe you're filipina ghosted you because you already find someone else so although it didn't happen to me yet that i ghosted someone because i find someone else already some filipina or in some online relationship it's common it's it's pretty common to happen that you know it's natural some some of you will ghost your Filipina for some reason because maybe she's asking for money. Maybe she is relying on you already even though you are not even meet in person. So same on us. We have reasons why we ghost some of the foreigners. So it could be like because you're a pervert. Sometimes we already find someone else that we think the, um, are the, the perfect for us. So yeah, that's that's some of the reason that you need to remember if ever your Filipina ghosted you because maybe you are this type of foreigner. Now I have a question that I need to answer. Um, some subscriber asked me, did I ghost someone from the dating site? My answer is yes. How many men do you ghosted in the dating site? I ghosted two. Okay, one guy that has lack of interest lack of time he's always busy he doesn't want to talk he doesn't want to say anything that's why i ghosted him and the second one the guy as what uh, as what as the example that i gave you he started talking about like sex um so maybe on the third day that he's been talking about it the whole day on chat i wasn't comfortable about it um 
maybe I will be comfortable talking about it if I really, really like that person. But not if, like, we only got to talk right now and you started talking about it. So I ghosted the guy. Yeah, comment down below if you experienced this. If you already realized that maybe you're one of these guys. These are all, could be the reason why your Filipino disappear. Okay? So that's all we got for today, lovies. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye! Please like, please subscribe if you haven't yet. I love you all, lovies. Bye-bye.